Parliament resumes. All right, we're very rapidly running out of time. A couple of quick issues. Greg Hunt, in terms of debate, there's also, I guess, the question of follow-through. And what do we make of the quality of discussion when immediately after the last federal budget, the Coalition was very loud about its opposition to the government's cuts to family tax benefits. To quote Tony Abbott at the time, these are class war cuts that the government is inflicting on people. This week, with barely a whimper, those cuts went through Parliament, unopposed by the Coalition. Well, what we see is that uh, uh, we will take a package of measures uh, across the broad uh, issues of taxation and family benefits. Well, you're not but, but you opposed, you opposed that immediately after the, uh, after the budget and then you didn't back your words with action this week. Uh, we are going to make responsible decisions uh, about governing where we can uh, in terms of we will set out a clear set of policies a clear set of initiatives. But, but, but wasn't uh, that a clear policy that, at the right time? Now, They're class war cuts. We, he said that I am instinctively opposed to them, but they went through. Well, at, at this point in time, um, we're going to set out in due course a very clear set of initiatives. Uh, and I will make this guarantee that the cost of living for families will be lower under us, the cost of living for pensioners and seniors will be lower under us, and they will not face a massive hike in their electricity and petrol and gas and grocery Penny prices. Penny well, well, you can't give that guarantee, Greg. You can't give that guarantee for two reasons. One is uh, you know uh, that at the moment you have a very big black hole in the budget uh, at, which would be in place were you in government and that arises out of your black hole from the election. I mean, I welcome uh, the Coalition actually deciding to pass some savings measures. It's um, uh, responsibility uh, that was shown, uh, but uh, I wonder whether it will continue. I wonder whether Tony Abbott tomorrow will actually outline uh, how how he will, will fund the, these uh, tax cuts that Greg's talking about. But the second point uh, about uh, costs will be lower. Uh, we've made clear that uh, we will be putting in place uh, proper assistance to Australian households uh, for the carbon price. And what, is, what Tony Abbott has made clear is he will claw that back. Oh, I... Be very clear, uh, Tony Senator Abbott has why... said he will uh... claw it back. All right, I, I'm getting the wind Senator, up here. Senator, why so have I... the last... Greg, I'm going, to finish on a oh, no, I'm going to finish on a question right. to both of you, which is completely partisan, right. and I don't expect either of you to respond to the question. Penny Wong, you first. <laughs> We're on Kevin Rudd tonight to a point because it's a year anniversary. Tonight, the Prime Minister has announced that the tender process for the Australia Network contract, which the ABC currently holds, has been delayed for six months and will now be a decision taken by Cabinet. Previously, it was by DFAT. Why has it been taken out of Kevin Rudd's control? Oh, well, look, uh, I, I don't have anything to add to, to the announcement, obviously. These are decisions of the government. Uh, it is a, a big decision. The Australian network is an important part of Australia's soft diplomacy. But it was in Kevin uh, Rudd's portfolio. Well, now it well, belongs to Cabinet. Yeah. And, and well, we're a government. Uh, and uh, Cabinet makes decisions about things in many portfolios, including my own, uh, uh, things that they think are, that we think are in the national interest. And uh, this is no different from many decisions the government has and will make. All right. And uh, Greg Hunt, on your side of politics, of course, uh, you've been having some uh, headlines today just when you should be capitalising on the anniversary in the Labor Party about battles within your organisational win, uh, wing about the appointment of the new federal president, which will happen tomorrow. You've got uh, the incumbent, uh, Alan Stockdale, uh, many saying that he should go in favour of Peter Reith. You've got Nick Minchin saying that he's never seen such an act of treachery. How concerned does this make the parliamentary wing of your party when the organisational wing is creating headlines like this on a day like this? Well, the administrative uh, wing of the party will make its decision. It will be over by 9am tomorrow morning and by 9.01 it will be ancient history. Uh, I can tell you that the, the stories that come out of tomorrow will be uh, the things that Tony Abbott has to say about the future for Australia, the cost of living for Australian families uh, and the very simple vision that, uh, that the DNA of lower taxes is who we are and the DNA of higher taxes and higher deficits is who they are. So who will be President, Peter Reith or Alan Stockdale? I will leave that to uh, the gods and to the electors. <laughs> Greg Hunt and Penny Oh, come Wong. on, Greg. <laughs> Many thanks. Come on, good. Greg. Thank you for joining us tonight <laughs> on Late Line. Good, good, good to speak with you.